Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is episode 656, and I'm happy to say that I have on the phone with me, live from Dallas, Texas, Lee Ellermeyer. She's the CEO of 2C MedTech, and we're going to discuss the portable continuous air and surface pathogen reduction units that they sell known as Casper Medic. It's a technology that can remove viruses like the coronavirus causing COVID-19 and other pathogenic particles from a dental office or even a home, or maybe even this radio station. So before we do that, though, I'd like to remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. If you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com, and we're streaming live on Facebook, so I always give a wave to the Facebook friends. All right, so um, also in about 10 minutes, you're going to have a chance to win free flowers from DeSantis Florist. Don't call now, but I'm going to go ahead and give you the phone number. The phone number is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. And uh, in about 10 minutes, you'll have a chance to call in. We try to make the questions easy so that you can win those flowers, okay? So let me tell you a little bit about my guest today. Lee Ellermeyer is a serial entrepreneur, author, and painter who has spent most of her career creating order from chaos, building new companies, bringing disruptive products to market, and trying to make sense of it all through her creative endeavors. Lee recently co-founded 2C MedTech, a technology company with a new patented system for aesthetic orthodontic treatment called the 2Clear System. 2C recently became the exclusive distributor to the dental market for Casper Continuous Air and Surface Pathogen Reduction Products. Prior to 2C, Lee co-founded and served as CEO of Replicate Dental Technologies and Lingual Care Incorporated, a Dallas, Texas-based dental technology company that developed and marketed disruptive technology for the mass customization of invisible orthodontic braces. That company, Lingual Care, was purchased by 3M Company in November of 2007. Lee has spent the majority of her career in medtech and software development holding executive positions at Orometrics, Autotester, and Extra Online. She has a BA in Political Science, graduating cum laude from the University of Texas, El Paso, and an MBA from the Thunderbird School of Global Management in Glendale, Arizona. Lee is the author of Finding the Exit, It's Not Where You Start, It's Where You Finish. She is also a painter and will be holding her first show in the spring of 2021. And now a little bit about 2C MedTech. 2C MedTech is the U.S. subsidiary of 2C Dental AG, a German company that was founded in 2019 by serial entrepreneurs Rudger Rubert, Lee Ellermeyer, Dr. Christian Schultz, and Dr. Friedrich Vidu. The company is focused on developing and bringing innovative healthcare technologies to the U.S. and German markets. Hey, how are you today? Hello. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, jo yeah being on the show. This is awesome. This technology is really cool. And I want to mention at the very beginning, uh, tell me what Ca CASPER stands for. I know what it stands for, but I want to hear you say it. Sure. Uh, CASPER stands for Continuous Air and Surface Pathogen Reduction. Okay. And I want people to remember that because that's going to be part of Dr. Kiviko's <laughs> question of the day, okay? So um, it's the, uh, say it again, please. Continuous air and surface pathogen reduction. Awesome. Okay. So, you know, I, um, how long has this technology been around? I know that it was uh, used on the space shuttle, what, in 1995? And uh, uh, something like that, right? 
Yes. Yeah, so the um, the original technology was developed um, many years ago for the space station, uh, and it was a, a process called photocatalytic oxidation because in the space station they needed a way to to basically clean the air right. uh, that was better than just filtration um, to make the air like fresh air, like outdoor air, right? Because they've got a, obviously a limited supply. So um, that PCO technology has been iterated over the years um, in, in some different forms, uh, Casper being one of them. Um, and it uh, now, in uh, the, about four years ago, uh, Casper set about to create really, I'm going to call it the next generation of this technology, um, and focus it on hospital use. So the, the product lines that they're selling today, there's one, which is uh, a, a version of the original technology, which isn't quite as heavy duty. I'm going to use that term. <laughs> it's kind of a layman's term as the hospital grade technology. Both are terrific. Um, obviously, in hospital environments, you've got a lot more pathogens, right? So that, that technology is a little bit stronger. And, and that one is the one that we are uh, focusing to dental practices right now. Oh, cool. Because... Uh yeah, as, as you know, as a dentist, dentists create a lot of aerosol-generating procedures, right? You're uh, using high-speed instruments in the mouth, and, um, you know, as today, people are, are very concerned about pathogens, uh, in airborne, certainly, and then on surfaces, um, having this extra layer of protection uh, for patients and for the team members in the, in the dental practice is really important. Right, because the, <clears throat> excuse me, dental high, the dental high-speed handpiece creates a lot of aerosol, Ultrasonic scalars create aerosol, and of course, those droplets can have the uh, pathogens like the virus and other uh, other nasty things, right? Because I once had a third grader I would give talks to kids at school and asked him why I wore my shield, which I've been wearing since 1985, and he said that's because dentists have germs. <laughs> oh, there you go. I reminded well, him I, that I, we I, all I have germs. Be, <laughs> I, I wanted to be clear, so... Um, the Casper technology has not been tested against SARS-CoV-2, which okay. is the virus that causes coronavirus. And that is only because, um, you know, it's hard to get into the, the type of laboratory and, uh, to have that test done. Um, however, it has been tested against very similar viruses like H1N1 and viruses that are more difficult to kill, um, you know, like the feline calcivirus. So, but I wanted to be clear, okay. this technology has not been specifically tested against SARS-CoV-2, as most technologies have it. I mean, Lysol did not test against SARS-CoV-2 when they told you, hey, you can use our wipes to destroy this, um, because there, we know certain things about those types of viruses and how they're killed. So. Okay. So, my understanding about the technology is there's this, um, this plate, this metal plate that um, it basically puts hydrogen peroxide into the air, right, which then inactivates uh, the, the droplets? So, so effectively what happens is air comes into the machine, um, and there's, there's a, yeah, it's, it's, we call it a photocatalytic cell, right? So it's, it's a, a structure that has a metal coating on it. Um, it's a, there's a, a honeycomb inside of it, really, which gives you more surface area, right, in a smaller space. Right. And it's a combination of... The, the metal content on that honeycomb structure and a, a, a wavelength of light that strikes it. And it basically destabilizes the molecules in the air. So the, the humidity, the H2O that's already in the air and the oxygen that's in the air is recombining. And we're creating very low levels of, um, of hydrogen peroxide and other oxidizing particles. And it's important to note that this is a process that happens also outside on a sunny day. Um, so if you think about going to the lake on a, on a beautiful sunny day, um, it should probably smell bad, right? Because you've yeah. got rotting vegetation and you've got, <laughs> you know, fish. And, um, but, but it doesn't because that same process is happening in outdoor air, okay. right? The sun is hitting that humidity and it's through the ultraviolet rays it is basically recombining some of those molecules. And so these are, are scrubbing uh, the outdoor air. Um, and so that's, that's, we're basically just replicating that process. That's what PCO is all about. Okay, and also, maybe you're familiar with this, but the Battelle Institute, which is based here in Columbus, Ohio, had previously developed uh, technology to uh, sterilize 
these masks that healthcare professionals are wearing, like myself, the N95 masks, and uh, they made uh, the health officials aware of that, and they were approved to uh, now hospitals gather up all of their used masks and they send them to Battelle, and they've set up uh, mobile sites around the country. And the process, in my, my understanding, is that process is also uh, applying hydrogen peroxide inside that, that room that all these masks are hanging. Have you seen that? I, I actually have seen, the, uh, not specifically with them, but uh, a similar process. Yes, they're using um, hydrogen peroxide misters, right? right so those right. are a little bit, that has a higher concentration. Right. I think what's important to know about Casper is that it's 100% safe for use in occupied space. Okay. So a lot of the hydrogen peroxide misters, they're creating really a vapor that you can't breathe. Oh, got it's not it. safe for you to breathe that. So what Casper's creating is such a low level uh, for instance, the OSHA standard for parts per million in breathable space of hydrogen peroxide is one part per million. Okay. We are at about 0.1 uh, to 0.3 parts per million. Okay. So um, it's in, in the normal Casper product, it's a little higher in the, in the Casper Medic, but far below that OSHA standard because, you know, we want to make sure that, that uh, we're not doing certainly any harm. Right, right. Uh, to to the people who are breathing this. So, and I think that's one of the other things that, that makes Casper unique. Many of the technologies out there right now for disinfection are episodic. You know, you can actually come in, they treat a space, and then when people are not in it, then people have to you know come back and work in that space for some time before it's treated again. Um, you know, there are some technologies out there like uh, UV robots. You know. Oh, okay. um, and as you, you probably know, with UV light, it's a function of the, the strength of the light, the wavelength, and right. the time, right? right. So, um, you know, uh, just having a UV light is not going to be sufficient to kill most things because you're not going to get the exposure time. And if it's strong enough to kill something, uh, you can't be in the room with it. Right. So, uh, the, um, the, and same thing with, like, electrostatic cleaning and also... Um, these hydrogen peroxide misters, you can't be in the room with it. With Casper, it's continuous. Okay. Right? So whatever's being introduced in the environment during the day is being, is being dealt with uh, at the same time. So right. It's not like, oh, I'm going to have to clean the room and then come, you know, wait, uh, you know, an hour and then come back. Right, right. Yeah, in fact, right now it's been recommended that we leave a treatment room vacant for two hours after a patient has been inside. And that doesn't, that's not a problem from my office. We have 10 treatment rooms. Uh, but the reality is, is if this had been running and is running all of the time, we wouldn't have to do that. Um, I'm not going to say that because that's something <laughs> that CDC is recommending. Right. I know you don't want to um, go against them. Yeah. But what I, what I want to say is that we are addressing what's in the air and on surfaces. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because I think what we're learning now is that a lot of pat this particular pathogen is um, staying in the air a long time. Right. Um, and it's circulating in the air. And it's, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm looking forward to the day when we can say, yes, we deal specifically with SARS-CoV-2 because we are, uh, you know, working on getting those tests done. Um, but in the interim, we can tell you that um, if you look at the hospital testing results, and those are available on our website at 2cmedtech.com, you can see the different types of pathogens that the, the, the process uh, addresses um, and what that's made a difference for in, in many environments. Yeah, there's a really neat, and we have to do our Dr. Kavika's question of the day here real soon, but there's a really neat article that you have on your website uh, authored by uh, Margaret Scarlett, DMD, and it's a white paper. It's 26 pages long. It's really cool, and it explains all of this, folks. So if you want to read what I've read and what we're talking about, you can go to 2cmedtech.com, and it's the number two, the letter C, medtech. Dot com. So, but let's do Dr. Kavitka's question of the day. Before I do, I want to remind people that CASPER stands for Continuous Air and Surface Pathogen Reduction. And you're going to have a chance to win free flowers. But before we do the contest, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household. Prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final.
And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. All right. Today we're speaking with Lee Ellermeyer, the CEO of 2C MedTech, which has developed important technology for keeping us safe at the dental office and at home if we actually choose to do that. The portable unit we are discussing is called CASPER. It's an acronym. What does it stand for? A, a very friendly ghost. B, the name of Lee's dog. C, continuous air and surface pathogen reduction. All right. The winner is going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind And there's nothing else in the world tonight She said people don't take the time Hey, people don't take the time Hey, what's going on? It's Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. You can look for my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavicko on the CBS television network where I play Danny on the hit soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Well, we reopened back on May 1st, and I'm happy to say that things are going very well. Our patients are receiving the same great care we've always provided, and we are placing a huge emphasis on infection control. In addition to face shields, like the one I've worn since 1985, and of course exam gloves, my entire team is wearing surgical gowns and caps, and we are limiting the number of patients we have in the office at a time. I'm also happy to report that there's not been a single incident of COVID-19 associated with our office. Call us at 614-262-9588. Dr. Kavicko, let's go! Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavicko and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavicko for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavicko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavicko and Associates today. 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko is here and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. All right, so we have Barbara on the line. Barbara, how are you today? Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Do you have the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? I do. It's C, continuous air and surface pathogen reduction. Wow, you could even recite that. That's awesome. You must have looked it up <laughs> or wrote it down, one of the two. Anyway, hey, what do you do for a living, Barbara? I work for uh, state government. Okay. In what department? Health department? Um, no, public or um, utilities. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks for calling in, and please stay on the line so we can gather the information as to where to send those flowers from DeSantis, okay? Okay. Awesome. So if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. We are uh, um, on the phone with us is Lee Ellermeyer. She's the CEO of 2C MedTech, and we're talking about Casper, a portable unit that cleans the air and surface uh, of surfaces of pathogens like COVID-19. It's not been tested on the COVID-19. Uh, but it does similar viruses, and so we think that it um, uh, would work the same. So, Lee, I have some questions now. I've always been a little skeptical about uh, something that sits there and you hear it running, but you can't really tell if it's working. Um, how do we? How do you make somebody like like myself comfortable? Um, so, one of the things that we do in a lot of the environments we go into is we do uh, swab testing. Okay. So, for instance, um, we're, we're at a high school right now here in Dallas. Um, and uh, we went in and we took two bathrooms in different parts of the school, a boys' bathroom and a girls' bathroom. Okay. And we put Casper in one bathroom and not Casper in the other bathroom. Okay. And we swabbed different areas. And uh, we use a little machine called an aluminometer, which basically – uh, in layman's terms, it reads uh, the amount of sugar being produced by a bacteria and fungi. Okay. Right? It'll just it'll just tell you um, what's happening. We also use some petri dishes. So we set out a petri dish in one with some agar and petri dish in another 
just to see is something growing over here and not growing over here. Because for most people, you know, doing uh, a, a, a heavy duty study uh, is not something that a, they want to pay for. Right. And it takes a long time. But we can really quickly show, hey, whatever was growing in here, it's not growing here, in here anymore. Awesome. And for instance, in the in the restrooms, we saw reductions in, uh, you know, uh, surface and air uh, pathogens, you know, in the 90 plus percent range. Awesome. Well, that's awesome. And yeah, so so we do things like that. When we do hospital testing, it's a little more extensive. You know, that's something that happens over a long period of time. Um, we do the same thing at, at an airport. Again, you know, taking swabs of different areas, you, 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 you basically collect the sample, you put it into the agar, you see what grows, you let Casper run for 24, 48 hours, and then you go back and you do it again. Okay. Well, that's great. That's great to know. Um, I, I heard that <clears throat> airlines are installing this technology on their planes. Is that correct? Um, I don't know if they've specifically – so I, I can't speak specifically to any deals that Casper has done with the airlines that oh, haven't okay. been announced. Okay. But we have done it at airports, okay. and a lot of different transportation companies are looking at this. Okay. For, like, airport rail cars and, um, you know, uh, inside the environment – because uh, the thing that's cool about Casper, it's not a filter, right? So the air doesn't have to pass through it in order to be treated, which is different than other types of uh, you know, air cleaning systems. Usually the air has to pass through it um, in order to be treated. Casper is, is basically proactively sending these little particles out into your air um, to address what's in the air. Right. And the, here's the analogy that I use, because sometimes people don't completely get that. I said, okay, think about you take a shower and the bathroom door is closed, right? Right. It gets really steamy in there. And then you open the door at the end and the steam just rolls out all through your house. Right. That's kind of about what Casper's doing. So air is passing through this little machine and these little particles, you know, billions and billions of them are going out into your environment and they're attracting, uh, viruses. They're okay. attracting bacteria. They're attracting, um, you know, mold and mildew. Uh, one thing you'll notice immediately is your your uh, air in your house or your uh, your office will smell better. Okay. And I and I did want to I did want to make the point that we have two versions of this Casper machine. One is the medic, which is the the hospital grade one, and then one is called just Casper Mobile. Oh. And okay. that's really for more industrial environments. So we have those in airports and salons and gymnasiums, and, and people have bought them for their home if they're you know, specifically concerned about their air quality. Um, so, like I said, the, the, the hospital-grade one is a little stronger because you've just got more pathogens in the air. The, the pro version, that's the one we tested in the high school, also works great. Okay. Well, that's really cool. So I plan on having these things installed as soon as you guys can uh, ship them to me. And yes. uh, <laughs> are we backlogged? Yes. Uh, you know, we have been um, there. As you can imagine, there's been a lot of demand for this kind of technology. You know, everybody's concerned about the safety of their environment. They want to make sure that they're, you know, the people who come into their environment um, are, are, are protected. Um, and given that what we know about specifically SARS-CoV-2, you know, hanging out in the air a long time, I mean, it's been in Dr. Fauci's uh, 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 briefings. Uh, yeah, briefings recently talking about the aerosolized nature of it when people cough or they sing. You yes. know, I mean, uh, just putting it out into the air and, and how long it's staying there. And they, they don't know what the infectious dose is yet, uh, but they do know that those droplets in the air um, are probably what's causing most of the transmission. Okay. Hey, we have to go to a break. Hang with me, okay? Sure. Because this is really cool stuff. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile, episode 656, and we'll be right back. You can't take me as I am. Not just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, because you're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Convicto, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Burn my glasses. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, we're speaking with Lee Ellermeyer of 2C MedTech. It's a Dallas, Texas-based company, and they have a product called Casper that is going to be installed in my dental office that's going to help clean the air and prevent the, the aerosol, aerosolized uh, pathogens that are in it. So, Lee, I know that about every three months, this plate has to be cleaned off, right? It has to be cleaned. Uh, actually, that's just the filter in the back of the machine that takes in the air. Oh, okay, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's actually there's a, there's a filter in the back of the machine. So whatever's coming into the air, we don't want dust to actually get into the PCO plate. Okay. So you just have to take off the back of the, the, the device. It's super easy. Um, and then just rinse out the filter with warm water, let it dry out, and, and then you can uh, uh, snap it back in and turn the machine on. Okay. So the, the maintenance requirements for it are pretty low. Uh, now, the actual PCO cell, that does need to be periodically replaced uh, about every 18 to 24 months. Um, the machine gives off a very uh, friendly blue glow, a blue, bluish green glow. Yeah. And uh, when it stops glowing, that means your PCO cell needs to be replaced. But it'll tell you that beforehand. Okay. That it's starting to get close. Okay. And then um, those are, are, are very easy to order and very easy to replace. I'm not a mechanical person myself, and I've taken the entire machine apart and put it back together um, with very little instruction, just our manual. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> so if somebody wants to buy one for their home, uh, would they have to have one on each level? Let's say they live in a two-story home. Would they have to have one on the uh, upstairs bedroom area, the main floor where the kitchen is, and maybe the basement? Um, so each machine covers about 1,500 square feet, and it really depends on the airflow in the house. Okay. Um, the other thing is we do make a version that goes into your duct system. It right. just it, it goes into where the, the airflow comes out of your machine uh, or out of your uh, central heating or air conditioning machine, um, and those can serve the whole house. So we have some options. Uh, people really do like the mobile device because they can move it around. Okay. So, again, just depending on how the air flows through your house, um, you would need to have, you know, one in, in each area that you're concerned about. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the clock, and I can see that we're going to be out of time very quickly. Maybe we can arrange to have you back on this show. Maybe when mine arrive and we can talk about the installation and how I feel that went. What do you think? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Happy to do it. Okay. So a couple of things I do want to mention today. Uh, HIPAA filters, HEPA filters, high efficiency particulate air filters, those provide added protection, but there's a problem, and that is that the it reduces the airflow that your HVAC unit is creating, and sometimes your HVAC unit then can't keep up with the heating and cooling needs of your building because you've now put like this big old piece of concrete kind of the HEPA filter in the way. So that's not an issue with Casper. And then the other... Uh, no, it's not. And the other issue I'm thinking of is you have it in your ductwork, which you guys sell as well. Uh, unless the air conditioner is on, it's not doing anything. And I'm out of time. I just got the, oh, no, that's 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. So how do people reach you uh, if they want to buy one of these or learn more? Is it just going to the website? Yeah, just go to tcmedtech.com. You can read about the different solutions we have for Casper. There's a form there you can fill out if you want to you know, get some more information or you want us to call you. We're happy to do that. Okay, that sounds awesome. Well, let's uh, maybe when we're done here, you can hang on the phone or we can email and we can pick another time to, uh, to do a follow-up show, okay? Sure. All right, folks. All right, well, that is all the time I have today. Thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in and for joining me. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kavitko. And visit my office Facebook page and like us. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Remember that all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email 